Thank you for tuning in for another video. In today's video, we are going to be looking at how to make YouTube thumbnails using Adobe Express. Now, this is completely free, super easy, and really quite actually fully featured as well. So you can see the difference here with my thumbnails. This is what I was using on one of my other videos, and this is the one I was using after about five minutes in Adobe Express. I think you can agree it looks a lot better and you're far more likely to click on the video. Now thumbnails are super, super important. You've, I'm sure you've all been on YouTube yourself. You're on YouTube making videos. So you know when you're scrolling down those videos, you, you basically pick it for the thumbnail. If your thumbnail looks terrible, people are just going to keep scrolling on by. They're not going to sit, they're not going to click on your video. You could have the best video in the world, the most amazing content. Nobody's going to click on it if the thumbnail is terrible. So you need to have a decent thumbnail. You don't need to spend hours. I used to spend hours doing thumbnails. You really just don't need to. Adobe Express, super easy. Now there are other free platforms available like Canva, for example. But I personally feel with Canva that it's, it's a little bit limited what you can do for free. And I just think Adobe Express is just so much easier. It's so much quicker. It's got things like background removal tools, uh, which are just super useful for, for, you know, for some people for what they want to do. And it actually works really well, to be honest. Um, let's have a quick look. I'm going to jump right into it and we'll just go through making a thumbnail. So I'm going to show you a finished product that I used uh, on my video and I'm going to show you how I made it. Dead easy, dead simple and all for free. So let's jump into it. Okay, so let's make a new project. We're into Adobe Express now. Obviously, we're going to create a custom size graphic. We're going to go over to popular and we're going to click YouTube thumbnail. Very simple and straightforward. Now you can obviously pick from whatever templates you want and some of these are pretty decent, but we're going to be making our own today. Now down here you can see there is a libraries button and you can load assets that you've already uploaded, but this is a premium service unfortunately uh, and I'm just signed up for the free version. This is a free one after all. So it's going to upload these one by one. So this is going to be our background. Now I found this on Pixabay, really nice photo, but this doesn't do much good for us. So we are going to move, come over here and we're going to click add to background. Very simple. It just fills it. Now this is a pretty decent background I think for a thumbnail but this is really got nothing on so let's add some more photos and images on here now what have we got here uh, these are just found earlier so we've got an Adobe Express thumbnail down here let's put it down here somewhere I think maybe uh, that looks pretty decent there let's put in a YouTube uh, thumbnail which one do we want to go for I think we want to just maybe go for this one here uh, now that's uh, looking okay. This is a uh, obviously see-through one, so that's probably not going to work fantastically for this. So let's uh, see. We might want to maybe just put a background behind it. So let's get a shape over here. We're going to, whoops, let's get rid of that one. We're going to make this white. So let's go over to the fill and we're going to just go to white. Now let's resize this a little bit and we're going to move it over this. Now of course this is not what we're wanting so we need to adjust it down. Very simple and straightforward. Now I think that looks fairly reasonable uh, but we still maybe want a little bit more. So let's look at adding in another photo here. Let's have a little look. So let's go for what we will do we'll add this pixabay one in there as well okay so we've got a few things going on now on the page now that's a little bit big for my liking now this is still yeah it's looking okay but it's not looking fantastic so we want to group these up because i want to be able to just move all these around together but this is all just a little bit a little bit boring so why don't we what i'm going to do now i have my picture here that I've just copied and pasted from another project. Uh, I don't have this saved on my computer so I can't just upload it. Now you do have to bear with Adobe Express. It is cloud computing. There are some slowdowns every once in a while. 
but yeah it's pretty decent on the whole for a free editor so when you're doing things like copy pasting it takes a little while because i think it kind of downloads and uploads and can't just copy within itself unfortunately but there we go now this is a little bit big for my liking i'm going to move it off a little bit over to the edge here okay so we're looking a little bit a little bit better now but it's still just a little bit boring let's just add a little bit of flair onto these things there okay so we're looking we're looking reasonable now now let's get some text inks we need some text for our thumbnails here now i just gone over to text pretty simple let's just have a little look uh let's just go for this one today okay so pretty straightforward double click edit the text uh what shall we call this how to make a youtube thumbnail for free in adobe express okay now that's not very useful in black so let's change the color what should we go for no that's not really going to work maybe white nah it's decent enough on the background i think probably white would be the best one there now we've obviously got this little bar underneath so let's see if we can get rid of that that's the shape down here click that the bar goes away now that's not fantastic it's reasonable let's just zoom out a little bit but it's not fantastic so what i'm going to do make another shape here let's just go for let's just make this white and we'll make this We'll go back to black and we'll move this one down and we're just going to move this over there now you can see that's already quite a lot better let's bring this one right to the top and we might just rotate that one a little bit as well so okay let's just adjust that up a little bit there so all the text is in there now you can see already that's not looking too bad actually that's taken me about a minute two minutes pretty decent now obviously we could make some changes and uh, we can change things around a little bit there as well if we wanted to get rid of the pixabay for example and uh, maybe just move this one down here um, I think that's actually somewhat reasonable so for two, two three minutes at most it's pretty good going actually I'm just gonna make this box a little bit bigger there just I feel, feel like it's a little bit tight on this so let's just make that a tiny bit bigger there you go I think that's a halfway decent thumbnail how to make a YouTube thumbnail for free in Adobe Express I think that's I think that's pretty reasonable okay well what we're going to do is we're just going to download whatever type you want of course I just do PNGs usually there you go job done took about two minutes absolutely free of charge loads of websites where you can find images most of these were just found in google the youtube uh, picture there and the adobe express just from wikipedia basically they just got the free uh, photos on there um super is easy the background was from pixabay and i think that looks reasonable pretty good i'd probably click on this video it took me about two minutes very simple and straightforward Thank you for watching guys and I will see you in the next video.